and you join us for another glorious sunset and the start of episode 4 of Forget to Be Eating the Road North. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of all new videos. Also go to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels to get exclusive videos. Our journey begins in the small town of Clanks here, with its quirky inhabitants changing the old municipal pool to a koi pond. Then we were off to Port Nolliff where we met George one time at the diving museum. So, oh, man. So, you, so you started diving in 76 here? Yeah, yeah, okay. We were all in the SA Navy. Uh -huh. Right, that was a, uh, my outfit, that is a, a 1942 Mexican saddle, oh. a, a rebreather. Oh, okay. And then I'm in the Navy there at the bottom on the left, oh, with yeah. my friend D.R. Uh, you work alone, you're one of the few uh, jobs that lie down on you. It's a very physical work. You know, you burn up calories at a rate here, I tell you, because the water is ice cold yeah. water. Average, eight, nine degrees. So you get four, five days a month. That's all you get. Okay. Right, and then yeah, you bump the workable days. Yeah, workable days. Then you bump the gravel up to the boat. Now in the old days we could dig it directly on the boat. Mm, yeah. okay. Right. And you see the diver books are the airline. Mm. Umbilical. Yes, yes. So you'll get one bag of gravel will weigh roughly about 25 kilograms. Then they will put it through the jig system. Mm. And if there's any diamonds on there, then you'll get a tug on your back on your airline. Three tucks, three diamonds on that pan. Oh, okay, there you are. All right, no, 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 that's not good enough. Man. Ten, ten, minimum ten on the pan. All right, then you check in the front there, there's a pothole lying with some beautiful gravel in. A pothole is always better to pump because you can take out the volume in one go. By the way, potty guys, one a year, average die on this coast. Okay, to uh, the, the green diamonds. Diamond, uh, looking diamonds. Yeah. So how much do you get out of... All right, now, it divides into concessions. Now, what happens is, you get the right to work it, so the, the deal is 50-50. Mm -hmm. The contractor takes 50, you take 50. Then the government will still get their cut, and the beers also gets a cut through royalties, because they buy all the stones, okay? So if there's a million rands of the stones, mm -hmm. yeah. 500 years comes to the to your company now, all right? Mm -hmm. Now you've got no, paying off on your boat. Yeah, yeah, uh, you've got expenses. Too, yeah, you've got to go get to buy pipes, you've got to get this uh, crowbar here. The divers need a new suit, mm -hmm. all expensive stuff. Yeah. So once costs have been deducted, the diver will get roughly like... So if there's a million rand sold, the diver will get 100,000. That's right. The full interview with George one time will be available exclusively to our Patreons on our Patreon page. But then we decided to head further north along the coast and did some exploring. We took a turn off on a 4x4 track and then this happened. With a little bit of impatience and laziness, we really dug ourselves into a hole. Yoki, we can see, you can see us discussing the damage and the plan to get out. The sun was setting and it was getting quite late. We, we were digging, got the high lift jack out and did our best to get ourselves out of the hole. But as it was getting dark, we decided to spend the night in that hole that we dug ourselves. As our luck would have it, early the next morning, a group of guided 4x4 travelers came to us. Thank you to Waypoint Adventures for taking the time to stop and help pull us out of the hole. We were five very handy men, all eager to assist. It took us 15 minutes to get out of the hole. Great luck from us and a very nice attitude from Waypoint Adventures. Thank you very much for the assistance. Okay, so um, this was the easiest get out of jail free card ever. Um, a big group of um, overlanders arrived and they helped us to get out of this hole. Um, they also, we went forward and not backwards. Um, yeah, I don't think we would have been able to do it without them. Oh, we would have, no, we would have. But um, even they struggled and um, they look like they had a lot of experience so we now have lots of hours to kill we can decide whether we want to go a bit forward or just stay here we're gonna have a lovely snook ride yes let's, let's have some coffee to the most northern point along the west coast of south africa that we can reach um, from here we'll have to head inland 
Alexander Bay in the background, all mining everywhere you see, but in about a month's time we will be On just the across side. the river, <laughs> um, hopefully at the mouth, and we'll show you that. What do you think of our last month, honey? Oh, this is lovely, yeah. So ends the coastal leg and the South African part of our adventure. Thank you to all the people that helped us along the way, that shared your wonderful place with us and made us feel at home. It was great to share the adventures, people and places of the west coast of South Africa. Please remember, we're heading inland now. Here on, we're heading a bit inland. Thank you to all our Patreons and other supporters. It's you guys that make this videos possible. And join us as we head inland to the Richterfeld. As always, please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of all our new adventures.